I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. So yeah, gamers, I am going to be doing like all of the regular gold stuff, but there is a bit of a new focus now. The new focus is I'm going to get every mastery in the game before 455 hours. I think that's pretty doable. But we've got to keep up the gold farming as well, because we, we do need a lot of money. In particular, today I'm going to try and earn enough gold to buy the extra life bundle. Wait, actually, the extra life bundle is going to cost me 200 gems. Yeah, 240, 243 gold. That's quite, that's, that's, that's pretty expensive. It's fine, we can do that. Not a problem. Hooray! All right. Tier four dailies. Let's get lucky. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Well, you can see why tier four is good, right? We actually just got two ascended material drops there, and this is pretty common, um, so this is not that rare whatsoever. Obviously, we could use that to craft gear if we wanted to, or we could simply sell that, but regardless, some pretty good money there. We even got a Black Lion chest of goods. We got a Mystic Forge stone. It would be nice to get some extra salvage kits, I guess, but I'll take that. Not horrible, not the worst. Of course, the really consistent stuff that you get is the encryptions and um, opening the encryptions. I think I already bought 30 for today because I have loads of spare ones from doing all of the, uh, you know, all of the uh, tier 4 stuff, right? Or the tier 3 grind. I have loads of these. Oh, nice. We actually can get another 30, though. We'll be buying 30 of these every day for a good chunk of time, actually. The reason you don't buy more is you'll notice that every time you buy 30, the price goes up a little bit. But we should be able to make some free money off that. Ah, before I forget. Uh, wait, do I want... Can I leave here? Um, my inventory is beyond putrid, but I'll tell you what, we'll fix it by salvaging this Ascended Ring. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, and that's why salvaging Ascended Rings is nice. We just turned an item that we could sell to a vendor for five silver or so, with a, sa a salvage kit that we dropped from Fractals, got that for free, I wouldn't recommend buying them, it's very expensive. And look at that, boom! Three gold worth of stabilizing matrices. I'm gonna go, you know what, let's go salvage all the rest of my rings. I have a few that I can clear out of my bank with that. And no, you can maybe get some more value out of attuning it, but um, that is psychological pain. Oh, wait, no! I, guys, I can't actually salvage the rings because I deleted them. <laughs> I deleted them because I told people to not be afraid of doing stupid things in the game because it doesn't matter that much. Well, I mean, that's one way to manage your bank, I guess. We cleared up a bit of space there. You know, it was really fun. I enjoyed doing that because it caused a huge amount of psychological pain in my chat, right? They were just like, oh my god, I can't believe he's doing this. What the fuck? Uh, how could you do this to us? You know, like, this is... We hate you, right? There was a lot of anger there. There was a lot of... A lot of angst. I did enjoy it, though. It was funny. Very, very nice. Let's open these champ bags here. The champ bags. We've got to sell some use slimes. I'm going to sell... We're just going to get rid of this exotic. Here we go. Goodbye, exotic. We're doing sell orders, guys. You know, like, you should be happy with that. Um, you know, sometimes I don't even do sell orders, and <laughs> honestly, that's fun. I'm, am I going to list this for an extra one silver? Nope, we're vendoring that. Sometimes I intersell, and I think that maybe I should start doing that. I really need to make sure that people are aware that that's what I do, and they actually can't stop me from doing it either. 74 silver for that salt spray axe. Wow. That's big money. Is angst using English? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I would use it in English. Okay. Ooh, unfortunate. But that's kind of like the real treasure here. We open all these encryptions, then we get some raw gold, some uncooked gold. Here we go. 58 gold. Boom. Up to 80 gold. Obviously, it's a little bit better because we're we get we have loads of encryptions right now. So we're getting more gold than you otherwise would. But either way, doing daily tier fours, some of the best gold you can get in the game. We are rich right now, and it feels good. 
There we go. Right, I'm also going to sell this medium high roll that we got from Sheer Peaks Pass. One free gold there. Need to salvage all these remaining items. There we go. Oh, I was going to do Daily Mystic Forge. Oh, I'll just open a few of these things because that is actually worth noting. I don't think I've done Daily Mystic Forge on this account yet. And I need to show people that because not everyone knows about Daily Mystic Forger. It is time for Daily Mystic Forger. This is not like the other dailies because you get a free Mystic coin making it big value. And very easy way to do this. Look at that. Unidentified gear has now been over. I like how I rolled two greens. Let's do four blues. Here we go. Is that going to work? Wait, actually. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Blue, blue, blue. Easy. Opened. Very, very cheap. And look at that. Look at that. Profit, gamers. One mystic coin. Nice. Easy. 80 silver or so. You love to see that. Very nice. When you see that daily pop up, open four unidentified gears. Get him in the forge. Easy. Nice. 50 Drizzlewood. Um, the slowest marshmallow you can get. No, that's 50 Cold War. Uh, I'm not going to do 50. I'll probably do 10. You only need to do about 10 Drizzlewood Coasts uh, to get the entire Masteries. But there aren't that many options. And I also want to get gold at the same time. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to find a balance between generating revenue from the account and getting Mastery Points. I don't want to just stop my account progress and only do Mastery Points. I'm going to do things that give me both at the same time. Core Mastery Points are going to be a bit of an issue. I'm probably going to have to play through the core story, I think. Um, and maybe even some of Season 2. I don't need that many more Mastery Points. How many more do I need uh, for core? We need four, and then, what is that, seven. Well, that's nine, actually, isn't it? Yeah. So we need 13 mastery points um, more than this. So that's quite a lot. So it's going to be a bit of a grind to get all of that done. Okay, great. The map has actually reset, though. Good news. All right, what's the plan? What is going on? We've got a little bit of time before reset. Maybe I should just go and hunt down some mastery points. Which ones would I really like? I've kind of got the Ice Brood Saga ones sorted. End of Dragons could be good. I could just go and... Yeah, let's just go and get some End of Dragons Mastery Points. Ah, uh, yeah, I should start the Siege Turtle collection, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's go do that. Because I do... I need to get to work on these Masteries. Uh, so how do we... Uh, what's it called? It's called Stomping Around, isn't it? This is what we want. Here we go. Okay. Bring the Turtle Egg to Rota in Arborstone. Okay, let's go. let's go ahead and get started on this. Because we, we want to get the Master Track unlocked as quick as possible so we can start dumping experience into it. Oh, we can probably do this pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, we're going to... Ah, yeah, the only thing that's going to slow us down a bit is... We can do another Dragon's End, right? And we have to go do the Jade Maw. Yeah. Why the innocent turtles? I come from a long line of Lux and Turtle ranches. There are people who have integrated and lost some of our identity. My family was held firm to our turtle traditions. We have weathered many storms. What can I do for you? Let me have your egg. I will pet the turtle. Okay, here we go. Boom. Right. So, chopped well, kale. First things first. Looks like your little fella's Ooh. prime and ready to hatch. Ah, rare. So little, somebody's got spunk. Okay. Right on time. Ooh. Hey there, pal. Ready to bring ruin Ooh. to your enemies, huh? It'll take some time before they're big enough to carry you to battle, but they'll get there. Promise. Look at that. Pet the turtle, guys. Oh, yeah, this one is easy. You just have to buy stuff, don't you? And yeah, then you just hand it into Fidget, yeah. You just buy kale leaves. It's actually surprisingly expensive, isn't it? But fuck it, we'll do it anyway. Kale leaf. Right, insta-buy, 250. No mercy. Head of lettuce. Insta-buy, zero mercy. Carrot. Oh, carrots are quite expensive, aren't they, actually? Yeah, one silver. Wow. Boom, insta-buy. Oh, oh no, I only needed 150. I got 250. Nice. Strawberry. 250. Nice. There it is. We've overbought carrots. That's alright though. Sometimes you buy too many carrots. Okay, nice. Food obtained. Back to the turtle gamer. This is where the permanent trading post is really nice, because then you can just stand by the NPC and just finish the collection. Okay, here we go. Fidget. Boom. 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 Ooh. Unlocked. Ooh. Big turtle. Stomping around. Discuss additional feeding options. Right, what you got? What's next? 
Fish. The turtle's now big enough to handle a bit more protein. Get them some fish. Get a wide assortment. They can be pretty picky at this age. So we need... Oh yeah, this is actually... This is a, a little expensive, isn't it? Okay, so we need... 100 fine. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, 100 fine. I guess I could have pre-bought all of this if I knew ahead of time, but I don't, so I'm not going to. Fabulous. We need 50 of those. Easy. 10 flavorful. Flavorful, very nice. 10. Oh, this is easy, actually. And then 5 fantastic. Oh, it's not even asking for the, the uh, like, uh, ascended ones. How about that? There we go. Oh, I already have some of these. I guess I need to buy all of them. That's okay. Ooh, mature siege turtle. Boom. Nice. And now we have to do the next thing, right? We have to, uh, yeah, suiting up. And this one is a little bit, slightly more detailed, actually, but it's not too bad. Jade Moore, Elora in New kind of that. I think you have to do a harp for that, right? Don't you? It's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Renyak, oh, the Sap, uh, Leviathan, that's easy. Tengu Spike, Ugh. ah, you have to do another heart there, that's really annoying. Uh, Thruster Control Unit, and Unidentified Die. 25 Unidentified Dies. Well, I can do that. I only have three, I can buy 22. Unidentified Die. 22. Let's go ahead and perform these activities. I think you have to do the heart here, right? There we are. Oh, I really shouldn't be spending gold right now. Mm, yeah, this is not the smart play because I actually need some gold to buy the extra life thing. Uh, so I need to be a little bit careful. But it's fine. I'm doing fractals and strikes anyway, so that will give me a lot of gold. Yep. Jade more. We just have to do all the meta events, I guess. Yeah, we have to do all the meta events. I guess we have to pay another 16 gold for these thruster plants, huh? That's a little bit painful, isn't it? Okay, so I, I'm probably only going to do three extra Cold Wars because the next master, the next mastery point is, let's see, when is it? Um, so we get one. Oh no, tier three actually. There's another one there. Oh no, 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 yeah. Tier three is ten Cold Wars. So there we go. Uh, yeah, then the final mastery point is the maximum tier, and you have to do fifty Cold Wars. So realistically, I'm going to do tier three. So you need to do three Cold Wars. Maybe I should get into daily Cold War though. I guess it does give you gold. And I also do kind of want that mastery point. But it'll take me 50 days. Thing is, I'll have more than, um... Yeah, I'm gonna have more than 500 hours of gameplay by then, so it's useless to me, actually. I don't know there's a final mastery. Isn't there, isn't there a final mastery? I thought there was. Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe I'm just insane. Maybe you only get a mastery point for 10 of them. Well, that's fine, then. 10 it is. I must buy the candy corn gobbler today, actually. I guess I can't get the Candy Corn Gobbler and the Extra Life Bundle today, but I have to buy the Gobbler today because otherwise it's gone tomorrow. Oh, it would have been nice to get some Bill... Actually, no. Bill Storage is useless. That's junk. I don't want that. Um, would have been nice to get some of these items on discount, but I guess you can't get everything on discount, right? What do you guys think, chat? Will I make it? Will I make all max masteries before 455 hours? So basically, a mastery point an hour. How many are you at right now? I'm at 229 mastery rank. So not bad. Not bad. We have to do Sky Scale. We have to do all of the Path of Fire story. All of Living World Season 4 as well. I think it's doable. It is it's a it's an achievable goal, I think. Yeah. You're gonna go for like 20 more gem store items? So you're gonna waste all your time on that. Well, I'm gonna try and I'm just gonna do like the basic gold farms, like strikes and fractals, then I'll put the rest of the hours. Uh, into doing mastery points, I think. And trying to get the XP. Yeah. Better on your main. I'm not sure if I'm that confident. I'm pretty confident, though. I'm like 90% sure I'll make it. But I'm not going to wager my account on a 10% chance that I fail, right? Like, I'm not 100%. It's, uh, it's a risky one. Oh, yeah, I got to do the skimmer. That's really easy, though, right? Sk um, skimmer isn't very long. That's like an hour to do that, right? Uh, Griffin is free as well, I think. The sky scale is a bit meaty. I guess the Griffin is going to take a little while, but I'm not going. I'm just going to cheat, right? I'm uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm just going to do uh, the user guide, right? Because I'm in a bit of a rush here. Normally, I just go through it and explore it as normal, but um, I'm just going to, you know, user guide. 
Because we, uh, we've we can't mess around here. That's what you use the action key here. Did I get that mastery point for using the action key a bunch of times? I'm not even sure. Let me see um, if I did or not. Hang on a minute. Where is it? I think it's in Shadow in the Ice. Ah, yeah, this one. Attack enemies with the tier 3 or higher essence skill 30 times. I guess I need to do it a few more times. Does this increment it? Oh, that doesn't count. Oh, I guess it has to be in, like, the open world, right? Because they have a... You have to, like, get the the, the ones that have, like, the aberrant tag, right? Or like the, Basically, the red, green, blue enemies. So I guess this doesn't count here. So you have to go do that. That's a very easy mastery point. I think just... You get that by doing Dracar a fair bit. Okay, let's get the loot. Nice. Wow. 50 silver. Yes. Loot the chests. The chests have been looted. Oh. Mini Frost Legion Soldier. 17 silver. I will add that to my account instead, I think. There we go. Mini unlocked. Oh, look at that. Reliquary of the Bear Ceremonial Gown. Oh, shit. Hang on. What? I didn't even notice. 200 gold. Let's go. <laughs> this account's luck is insane. Wait, where do you get this from? Where did this even drop from, guys? Is this from uh, Cold War? Or is this from um, another strike? Is it from Cold War? Dude, let's go! Cold War! Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's insane! I just got rewarded for doing Cold War, guys. That's actually crazy. The game approves of my mastery quest. That is crazy. What a high roll. Nice. Oh, that's gonna look my account value is gonna skyrocket when that drops in, right? Let's go! Big. Now I can add, now I can buy things. Yeah, the game wants me to get that extra life package. And so do I. Maybe it is worth doing daily Cold War. If you can get that, I guess that's probably very, very rare though. I'll actually probably allow this as a kind of a a low end high roll and um even if you're like wow t but you said you wouldn't allow high rolls uh i'm not gonna allow anything like a chack right a chack or confetti is no good i think a 100 to 200 gold high roll is actually okay in my opinion uh and as a bit of a bonus meme i am actually gonna spend all of the gold on the zero to, on the um the extra life package anyway for the charity memes so even if you're like wow t well that's illegal it's going to a good cause all right so it's fine yeah, it's like a mid-roll there. Mid to high roll. I think that's okay. I don't think I've ever seen that drop. I, don't, I haven't got that on my main. I have so many things on this account that I don't have on my main. All right. Oh, wait. I am... Um, wait, no one is on Ryland. God damn it. I want to... You know what? God. I'm, look, I'm just going to go leech the achievement, guys, okay? I'm just... I want to dodge some of these rocks. No, I'm not going to make it. No! I could have dodged that rock. No, I can't. It's not going to work. This sucks. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that firebrand's swapping with me. That's huge. The firebrand noticed. I can actually get my achievement or start doing it. Oh, no. Oh, got the dodge. I like how I'm trolling by moving the boss now as well. That's good. We must dodge these rocks 25 times for the script hot achievement. Go on, do it. Here we go. The rocks are on their way. Here's one. There we are. Nice. That one is super annoying, though. That's going to take so many tries to get that. Yes. Oh, did he do it? Oh, he's doing it. Nice. Huge. That was a good tip there. He keeps doing it anyway. Wait, is he going to do it again? Wait, can I just leech and stay here? Oh, I think he does. That's huge if that's the case. Maybe. Oh, maybe not during this phase, actually. Because it looks like, uh, the, yeah, he's kind of stunned, being zapped by the laser beam. I'm adding that to my tracker as well, because we have to, we get a mastery point for another 15 rock dodges. 
And it's only one mastery point. It's a bit of an annoying achievement, but it's definitely worth it because um, mastery points in the Ice Brood Saga are a little bit painful. Got some good progress on these achievements here, actually. The mastery points will be mine, chat. Hmm, we're going to need some EOD stuff, aren't we? Where am I getting that from? I think just mostly the mastery insights. I think I have a bunch of those to do. Yeah, and there's some stuff here in Echo Vault. Oh, we could go do the Fort Aspenwood as well. That's pretty good. Dragon's End. Oh, the not. Yeah, that, oh yeah, I can do the pre events. That's really easy to get those two, actually. New Kainang. I have some mastery insights to do here, I think. Oh, you've got to go get the crows as well. Actually, not that many mastery insights left over. We actually might have to play the game a little bit. Oh. Well, there's actually not that many mastery points. Oh, actually, never mind. They're all in a separate category. Oops. Yeah, we have a zillion of these we can do. Nice. That should be more than enough to more or less finish it, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I actually forgot to do that Teng... I was going to do, like, the Tengu jumping puzzle as well. I didn't even do that. I haven't even done it yet. Right. 300 gems. Let's go. Boom. There it is. Beautiful. And that means we can get one of the best items in the game in terms of value for progression. It is going to be the Candy Corn Gobbler. Boom! There we go. Locked in. This thing is great. You put in candy corn like this, and what do we get out of it? Let's see if we get some. Go, 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 go. It's got an annoying cooldown. Definitely don't do this many. There it is. XP boost and swiftness booster. Wow. Check that out. Look at that. And this is really good because it gives you 50% XP in all game types for masteries and stuff. But more importantly... 50% um, reward track gain for PvP and World Sword. Massively speeding up getting your gift of battle, whatever you're going for. Really, really good. And it gives you more World versus World rank XP. That XP counts as XP. World versus World XP. So you can actually level up and get, you know, unlock your World versus World masteries way faster as well. It's amazing. And you can also, see if we get lucky, you can also get Magic Find and Karma Boost as well. One of the best items in the entire game from the gem store. 300 gems, absolutely insane. Uh, insane value item. We didn't get a magic fine boost, but trust me, it does happen. However, don't sit here and click it because it does have a really annoying cooldown. What you want to do um, is basically have it on your other monitor, get an auto clicker. I use Cock Fleet free auto clicker, C O K free auto clicker. Very funny, I know. Um, and just have that going. Do it for like four hours. You'll come back and you'll have like a few days of XP boost. Literally days. It'll be, um, you know, it'll be like 24 hours, 48 hours of XP boost. Um, and then you can go about your business. Easy peasy. And it stacks with the Snowflake Gobbler as well. The Festival Boost is a totally different thing. So it stacks. And it also stacks with Birthday Booster and Celebration Boosters. Um, so you can combine it with all of your other boosts and get some pretty ridiculous gains in terms of Magic Find all the time. In terms of XP gain all the time. It's a pretty good time. But there you go. That's locked in. And now we just need some of our... Well, we need to sell a bunch of other stuff, I guess, to get the Extra Life Bundle too.